In this uh, video tutorial, we'll see how to create REST APIs using Next.js 14. So I'll go to my command prompt and start creating the Next.js uh, application. Uh, once you have Node.js, the required Node.js version installed in your system, you can start creating the Next.js project. So here, if you if I check my Node.js version, it's 20.10. 20 20 so here my Node.js version is 20.10. So I'll start by creating the Next.js project using npx create next app at the rate at the rate latest. That should create my Next.js project. So it's asking for a couple of things. What is your project name? I'll type in REST API. REST API. Would you like to use TypeScript? Yes. Would you like to use ESLint? No. Or would you like to use Tailwind CSS? No. SRC directory, uh, yes. Do you like to use App Router? So here we are using Next.js 14. So yeah, we are going to use App Router in this tutorial. So I'm going for yes. Would you like to customize? Uh, no. That installs the required dependencies, as you can see here: React, React Dome, Next, etc. So once this is installed, a project should be created. Okay, as you can see, uh, it shows the success here. Created the project as APIs at the particular location. So I just navigate to the folder. I just try running the project. You can see I'll just load the project here. Okay, so here is the default uh, boilerplate uh, template the boilerplate templates that's in the startup project here so yeah it's working so i do one thing i'll close this terminal i'll create uh, i'll go to my visual studio code I'll open a new window i'll go i'll go and open the project location that i have okay it's in this api here so i'll open the project location here so once the project is opened you should be able to see the structure here on the left hand side you can see we have an src folder inside we have the app folder inside we have the pages and all here's the page here's the main layout so that's a new addition to the next year's 14 thing okay so here we'll be focusing on how to create rest apis so here as you can see we have layout and all but for this tutorial since we are building the api we won't be focusing on layouts and all or like we won't be requiring layouts since we are trying to create API, so in order to create an API, what you can do is go to your SRC app folder inside. You can create a folder called API, and inside the folders, we can have multiple APIs. So I'll just create one more folder. Let's say users, users, right? So this API, uh, it will be having a file called route.js or like route.ts. So I'll just create one file called route.ts. Right. So here we can define uh, API functions. So I'll just define the first one. That's a get. So it will return response of a JSON output. I can simply let's put in some random data here. Name will be something. Yeah. Okay. Now once this is done, we need to export the stuff here. Once this is exported, yeah, you can try running the server. Once it's ready, you can go to users slash API slash users. And if you do this, you should be able to see the output here. See the, the JSON output that you return from our get request. Now, similarly, you can write in like post for post, delete, patch, etc. We'll just go into each of them in depth. So before that, we'll see how to make an API call inside a get also. So here we can we are, we are simply returning this thing. So here also we can make some API calls. So for that, we can simply make this as an async function. 
and we'll be requiring a URL to fetch the data around. So response is like fetch and whatever URL we are putting in here. So for this, for the sake of this thing, I'll just use uh, one dummy APIs. Uh, JSON placeholder APIs. We have some users data. So I'll be using this thing and we'll query this thing here. Yeah. Okay. I'll just put in here and we can put in a weight here. Weight. That should fetch the data. Last data will be weight response dot JSON and we can return this past data here okay past data i just save the same if you go to the browser you should be able to see yeah we are able to see the data here right so that's the json data that's how we have written a get request here now similarly you can write one for post I'll write one more method to get accounts post. Okay, and that will return, let's say, response.json. Post data, right? Let's just check if this thing is working fine. So if you try to access, like it's a post request, right? So you know, same route URL, you need to make a post request. Okay, so now let's see if that thing is working. So here I'm using Postman for this thing. So now let's see if that uh, post request is working. So I'm using Postman to test that thing. So I'll just, uh, yeah, so I'll just add one thing here. So I'll just uh, enter the URL. Yeah, I'll saying, so if I go here, if I query with a get request, you can see I'm getting the expected response here, right? Now, if I go for a post request, you can see it should send in. Method not a lot. I think we didn't restart our application, so I'll just restart. Okay, we haven't exported that thing yet, so that's why. So I'll just go with this, restart. And the post should be working fine. Okay, now it's ready. So I'll just go to Postman. I'll send it again. As you can see, uh, the data is here. Right, message post data. So similarly, this thing works fine. Now, same way, you can have a request for delete. Yeah, delete. Uh, also, put request. Also, patch request. Right. So here also it's working. It should be working fine. So I'll just copy this thing, paste it here, just to see if the request is being interpreted there. So delete data. Right here. data and here we we'll put in patch right I just save this thing and we also need to export it here delete put patch I'll just save it once again that's saved yeah I'll just try putting a put request here that shows the message patch also working similarly delete that is also working so this is how you can build an api using uh, nextjs 14 yeah so i hope you find this video tutorial useful do let me know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching